Hi, it's Mr. Robinson, although that's actually a potato. Um, but there's my hand, there you go. Um, the potato is there because I'm about to make some soup. Uh, and I'm about to make um, this soup from this recipe book, which is uh, Vichyssoise. Uh, I think that's how it's pronounced. Anyway, it's a very posh name for leek and potato soup, so don't let the name overwhelm you. Um, and I'm gonna use a recipe, which is here. And it's a bit shiny and you can't see it very well. Um, however, I have some ingredients. My ingredients are stock, um, some cream, some potatoes, and some leeks. And the reason I'm making leek and potato soup is because it's really easy. I've got some equipment, I've got a chopping board, which you can't see, uh, because it's see-through. Uh, can I see the edge of it? There you go. You see there's a chopping board there. And uh, I'm using that knife and my uh, soup cauldron, if you like. So what's this got to do with you? Well, your writing task for this week, your home writing task is to write a recipe. Um, but writing a recipe for leek and potato soup is pointless because there's one in this book and I could just photocopy it and send it to you. Um, more interesting, I'd like you to write a recipe for a witch's soup. So I'd like you to come up with some ingredients that a witch would put into his or her soup. Um, and I'd like you to think about how they would make it. And any good recipe has not just the ingredients, but a list of instructions, a list of what to do and some pictures to go with it. You might focus on imperative words, uh, verbs, imperative verbs, sorry, um, like stir and chop and mix to describe what you want the person to do. Um, you might focus on the colorful pictures. You might focus on some imaginative ingredients. But what I want is a single sheet recipe for witch's soup, not leek and potato soup, um, that's very exciting and not very good to eat, probably, unless you're a witch. And I would like that by Friday, because that's the kind of guy I am. Okay, good luck. Enjoy. Goodbye.